Good morning. I have to speak on a lower voice because my girlfriend is sleeping, but there you go. We are in very hot days until Friday, so I think it's better to run at 6 in the morning. It's gonna be too hot later today. All right, so my day of work is over. Um, and to be honest, since I've started this whole one video a day thing, it's the first time that I feel really tired. Uh, and today and for the next three days, uh, it's gonna be very hot days. So the, the heat and the fact that I started to train again and all that, uh, make me tired today still I have to do a video and recently I made a video about my whole single issues comic book collection and it was a one hour long video because I have for $2,500 worth of comic book today I'm gonna show you my art covers and trade paperbacks now don't worry this video is gonna be a lot shorter because I don't have that many and it's gonna be a melting pot of um, you know uh, superhero stuff uh, French stuff so but you'll see I only have one shelf anyway so let's get to it alright so I'll be very quick with the first section we mainly have albums for uh, for kids so uh, let's get to it we have here uh, Baptiste et Bali and then we have Toy Story 2 in French so like I said, those are albums, so big images but little text. Uh, Lion King 2, Aladdin, Aladdin, like we say in French, I'm, like I, I don't remember in English, Aladdin, Aladdin, yeah, Aladdin. Uh, this here, Les Aventures de Nécifar, it's a story that takes place in Magdalen Island, so um, that's where my, my, on my, that's where I come from, from my father's side. <clears throat> We have here Picsou. Uh, and then I have a few Looky Looks. When I was a kid, I wasn't that much into uh, comic books. I was more into novels. So that's why I don't have many of them. But still, there you go. So you can see. And here, La Belle Province. So it takes place uh, in Quebec. Because you know, Looky Look is French. And uh, this story, it's when he, he comes to... Uh, North America. Then here I have one Asterix uh, and it is one of the Hachette collection. Like you can see if you have them all you have the big picture at the end uh, with the back of the book but you know I don't. I only have this one. And then if we continue that came with the Hachette collection as well so this is very old. I'm not very uh, I'm not too familiar with this one but these are old uh, European stories. And then we have the Smurfs. So in French, Les Schtroumpfs. So this is all in French as well. I don't have the whole collection uh, because it's very expensive and take a while. Hachette collections are nice, but you have to spend a lot of money. But you can see that at, in the end, I would have had like a big picture. So if you want to be quick, there you go. Since it's in French, I, I won't take too much time, but the book itself is really, uh, really nice, really good looking. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to remove this. There you go. And don't worry, after the Smurfs, we get into uh, Star Wars and all the comic book stuff. I know it's not what we have in mind when we think about trade paperbacks, but still had to show this. So this here is just like a preview for you get. Now still in French, uh, still with Hachette collection. These are all the Star Wars Legend. So uh, I have a few, I have four from different eras. I wish I had them all in English, the uh, collection that Marvel put out. So this is non-canon, but I'm, you know, good stories nonetheless. Then here we have uh, the Mask Omnibus Volume 2 that was given to me. We have here the Umbrella Academy um, Volume 1, the, Apocaly the Apocalypse Suit.
here it's like an old book with old stories uh, from DC Super Action, so it was translated in French. Uh, this here, it's not a comic book, it's just, I don't know how to describe this, but like, you know, like the kind of book that you want when you're a kid that explains a lot of stuff in Batman's universe. Here I have uh, the official Batman adaptation from the movie. It's funny because I have it in French here hardcover and I also have an English trade paperback that I showed in my other video of my collection. Here I have the killing joke but in French. This here is not a trade paperback per se, but it doesn't fit in my short boxes. It's a gift from my girlfriend. Uh, it's an ongoing series right now. Well, it's a mini series. There's supposed to be four books. This is book one, Wonder Woman, Dead Earth from the DC Black Label. Here we have Power Rangers Aftershock. Um, this one was to show you what happens after the 2017 movie. It, it was all right. Here we have, of course, Superman Red Sun, when Superman lands as a baby in Russia. Here we have uh, Injustice, the complete collection of year two. Uh, I cannot show you year one because I lent it to a friend, well, no. She deleted my girlfriend and me from Facebook and Instagram and all that jazz, so I guess she's not a friend anymore. She's my friend's girlfriend, so let's hope I get the year one back eventually. But a very, very good story. So this is year two. It takes place before the game. The first one, of course. Uh, this is year three. So year two is when all the Green Lantern... Uh, all the Green Lanterns, I'm sorry, are trying to stop Superman. This is when Batman tries to stop Superman with magic, so that's why we see John Constantine. Uh, and then year four includes a lot of Greek gods. So interesting as well. And the last one, year five, um, when this one ends, it's when the game begins. Here a very nice story given to me by my uncle and godfather. Uh, it's the astonishing Spider-Man and Wolverine. They are both trapped in the uh, prehistoric time. So uh, they time traveled and they cannot come back to the present time. So it's really interesting and we can see how much they both don't like each other. Here we have Civil War, um, very very different from the movie. We basically have every Marvel characters in Civil War, uh, well at least every Hearth characters, which is not the case in the movie for many obvious reasons, but still Civil War. Here we, I think, yeah, we go back to French, uh, given to me by a friend, so old Daredevils. There we go again. And then here we have the Spawn Origins Collection um, book one. It's very nice. Uh, you basically have like all the first issues from 92, 93, but, well, I was talking about 1992 and not issue 93. Uh, but the only thing is they are very hard to find. So even if I wanted to complete the collection, well, first you need to buy a lot, so it's expensive and they are hard to find. So uh, maybe you can find book two, but not book three and you know stuff like that. I feel like Image Comics has difficulties with that kind of collection, uh, sadly. I'm gonna take it back for now. It's gonna be easier. I don't want to break it. Uh, here I have a manga. I'm not really into manga. So this is the only one I have, Dragon Ball. I have um, volume one of Scott Pilgrim. I loved the movie first and then I wanted to read the comics. Eventually I want them all, but I don't want them all in this format. They uh, they put this out. It's the hardcover color edition. So uh, uh, because the, 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 the original version is in black and white. Uh, so here it's bigger, it's in color, it's hardcover, really nice. So you have volume two and volume three just to show you. You know, the colors and all that are very nice. The movie, basically, if you don't know, is 
the um, all the volumes in one movie so uh, every every book you, like you can see every book has an evil ex-boyfriend until we reach the last one and of course we have here volume 3 so that's my trade paperback collection. Not big, I know my single issues collection is a lot bigger. Uh, that will maybe change eventually. If you are new to this channel, I don't want you to be confused. This channel is not all about comic books and geek stuff. It will be once in a while, but I'm basically making one video a day to document my life. And I study success and I try to reproduce it. But since, like I said, it's documenting my life, well, my passions are part of my life. So once in a while, you're, you will have some geek videos. So just for that, uh, you can subscribe and like this video. I want to make another video about why eventually I will collect more trade paperbacks than single issues. Um, and another one where I explain how I was collecting my comic books as of now. And in case you don't know, Yesterday I posted a video about a new project of mine. I'm trying to do like one red paper clip So I started with two blue pens and I'm trying to trade them for something bigger or better Until I get a car for my grandfather. So the link of this video is gonna be in the description below I invite you to uh, check it out and uh, if you have something to trade well reach out and uh, Tell me what you have to offer. So please like and subscribe if you enjoyed and be sure to come back for more video and on that, see you next time.